All right, so today we are gonna build a secret hidden door. Yep, that's right. And there's not much online that I could find to help me build this, so maybe this video will help you. So I started out by doing a rough sketch of the Murphy door from pictures online. Um, it's pretty rough. So I've built a few things in the past, but I've never built a hidden uh, bookshelf door. I built this customer a table and a bookshelf before and he asked me if I could do this. So first thing is I took off the door jam and I should have done it delicately because I removed some of the drywall, which I ended up having to repair, as you can see. here. So I took the door jam home with me and I copied the dimensions and built this mock-up. I bought these hinges off Amazon um, for like $12 and I'll drop the link in the description. On my door jam, I uh, placed both hinges on there. <laughs> I use these tools um, to get it as precise as possible. I'm not sure if that's the best way, but it worked for me. I drilled some holes to get the hinges in. Looks like it fits, boom. So the door jam, bottom and top, the width is about an inch and a half wider than the bookshelf. That way the bookshelf can rotate within the door jam and that was hard for me to get right but I totally lucked out and that's how it usually goes for me <laughs> I ended up replacing this pine wood because it was a bit warped with uh, some nice plywood don't mind the gaps in the bookcase I'm still working on it as you can see um, I just can't believe I got it to open and close properly it's a little rough right now but I'll fix that later and I said about an inch and a half in the gaps it might be an inch or an inch on one side and an inch and a half on the other but it gets better so I keep working on it and uh, start to make it look a little nice look a little nice for my eyes got the, got the hinges I'm gonna chisel them out to make it flush with the wood, as you can see here. Nice, nice dude, you did it. Uh, don't mind this, I'm gonna chip that away. Just showing you the hinges are flesh. I got these little closet door wheels from Home Depot for pretty cheap and they seem to do the job. As you can see it's coming along. Uh, at this point I'm just trying to make it look nice. I replaced the top and bottom with 3 fourths plywood instead of the pine wood because the pine wood was warped and I'm filling any crevice or gap with uh, wood glue and sawdust got the door trim up the left side of the trim is attached to the door jam and the other side of the trim is attached to the bookcase itself so you're going to use that as your handle to open it I'm going to be using a fake book to unlock the door and I'm using this little wire that I ended up screwing down and then wood gluing on. I'm using this halo book for the cover. Instead of using a hinge, next time I would use like a rail and you pull it forward. I started to stain it. I hate staining, but I do it anyways. I used a Halo book because my client loves Halo. Here you can see the hinge and the book book lock working as it should. Like I said, I would rather do a rail instead of a hinge to unlock it. Just because it was a bitch installing that hinge under that book cut these thin pieces of pine wood to cover the layers of the uh, plywood. Here's my beautiful dog resting, I'm resting, and I'm gonna install the bookshelf now. Oh my gosh! 
That was my brother's uh, voice. He helped me carry this bad boy up three flights of stairs. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. Much love. Thank you.